Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back in the car. I'm driving, enjoying my day. And today I have the cooler, the East Oak cooler in the back of the car transporting on the back of my bed. Once I get to my destination, I'm gonna check the ice retention. I don't think I checked it today. I checked it last night and it still had some ice in it. So we are gonna check it again once I get to where I'm going. It's all the way in the back there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's behind the TV. But I'm gonna check it as soon as we get to our location, which I'm almost there. And I need to make a thumbnail for the last video that I did. Because I did the video, but I didn't make a thumbnail. I'm like, oh man. I looked through the whole video to see if I could screenshot one of the small videos I made to make the thumbnail. And I'm like, no, I don't like any of these. So I'm gonna make the thumbnail as soon as I get to work. What people don't mention a lot on these videos is that the editing takes a long time. That is work. So when I get to my destination, you know, I have to sit down and edit. That's work. And you're putting in hours and hours of time just making things perfect the way that you want it. Some people are very good at it. Some people takes a little more time. Well, let's see how much ice is in there. I moved it around a little bit. This is still ice. Got a little bit of water, but that's still ice. So it's pretty good. Let's get the thumbnail started. All right, the thumbnail is gonna look something like this. May do it from this angle, or I may try another angle. May look at it from this angle. Let's see how it's gonna look. If you ever wanted to know what a weed shop looks like, this is what it looks like. This is on Lexington Avenue and 54th Street. Hey guys, it's nighttime again. Sorry about the big lapse in the videos, but I got my 10,000 steps in. I'll let you guys see it real in a few minutes. Oh man, it was a long day. I cooked some food but I did it at home, I didn't film it. I got this Japanese, no, it was Korean style barbecue chicken that all you had to do was heat up with that 90 second rice. Oh, it was slam and I ate it and nearly put me to sleep. It was so good. But I gotta show you guys my steps and I'm gonna get me a nice refreshing ice cream. That I have in the freezer, I didn't put that in the cooler, but I can't wait to try that. But let me show you my steps because I'm probably proud of that. Look at that, guys. I am so proud. Hold on. Hold on. I'm over 10,000 again. That's awesome. You know, it's great. There's a countdown before we go to the next campground. That's going to be in a couple of days. So I want you guys to stay tuned for that. It's going to be an excellent journey where I get to work out so much just to try to stay in shape. So I can't wait. That's gonna be in a couple of days. So if you follow the videos, you'll see exactly when we go on that journey. It's gonna be so much fun. I wanna work out, I wanna swim, I wanna go on for my hikes, I wanna see waterfalls, and you know I can't wait for that. But let me get some ice cream. Hopefully I got my keys. So the back of my car is a mess right now. I can move this cooler to the front, but I left it there because I had some passengers in my car. But let me see where I put the ice cream. It's somewhere in here. I just have to find it. You know what? Let me find it and I'll get right back to you. All right, I smashed my ice creams up, but I'm gonna just try one. It's all smashed up, so I'm gonna eat it. I did throw some more frozen ice in my cooler. Again, this is East Oak. Threw some frozen bottles in there. The, the previous ones are still frozen. Well, I just threw some more to make some space in the other freezer. So, didn't enjoy my ice cream, it went bad. The thing is, <clears throat> ice cream, you know it's going bad when, <coughs> excuse me, it turns to like, it turns icy. That's when the ice cream is no longer uh, good. And it could be because I had all of those water bottles in there that froze. So I threw that out. I'm gonna buy some more ice cream in the carton now, let me tell you about the East Oak Cooler that I have back there. What I 
found out what works for me because I'm an SUV camper, I'm an RV camper. I also love taking the cooler with me when we go on our long trips because sometimes we don't have space in the fridge to leave all our drinks. Now, if I take a couple of the frozen water bottles, which can freeze in the freezer I got in the back of the car, I can put those frozen water bottles inside of the cooler and it keeps everything cold. Now, I don't have room in here to get ice cubes all of the time and I don't like spending money. So I can freeze water bottles and just throw those in there. I mean, they're the same water bottles that I drink, but if I'm not using them right away, I can throw them in there and I can interchange them like when it, all the, the, the ice melts. I can put it back in the freezer and let it freeze and take some more that's in there. That freezer is deep. Like my whole arm, and I'm a tall guy, goes way down in that freezer. The refrigerator portion is smaller, but you don't have much things to put in the fridge. You put most of your stuff in the refrigerator. So with this combination, I can keep things much cooler and have more storage when we go camping, mostly RV camping. Now, if I'm going camping by myself in an SUV, I can take this with me. Even if I have two people and we're in an SUV because I have a third seat that I can lay down and I can put the cooler there and then this front seat that's on the side of me, that can lay down into a bed as well. So it's probably still good for two people, but I have a whole week's worth of drinks inside that cooler and it freed up so much space inside my car fridge that's dual zone. So the East Oak uh, cooler, 25 quart cooler is great. The 45 quart, that's going to be huge. So you got to have a lot of space for that. The 25 quart, that's huge. That, that I mean, I can't believe how big that is. When people see it, I mean, they the, their reaction is just like, wow, that thing is big. It's not that deep, but it has a lot of room going around in the, like in a circle. So that's why I like it. It's, it's really nice. I'm in the market for a van. So if you guys know a van that's for sale, I'm looking for something like under 10 grand that I want to build out and just to camp in. I don't care like the problems where I can fix all of the problems, but that's what I'm looking for. If you guys know of anybody selling a van, you may, I even give you guys a finder's fee if you help me find it, but I can't, I, I haven't been able to find one of my liking. So if you found one, let me know. All right, guys, this video is getting a little bit long. I'm going to end it here. Remember, please. If you stuck around this long, please consider subscribing. Like these uh, videos, please. Comment below if you have anything, especially if you know about a van. I need a van so, so bad. Did I leave a light on back there? Did I leave two lights? Oh, I only left one light on. I thought I left two lights. I was gonna have to go back there and turn it back on. So guys, if you know someone that's selling a van, just hit me up because I'll go anywhere in the U.S. to get the van. I can I can tow it back. I don't mind about that. But I'm really trying to look for a van. I see so many people doing van life and they find those vans. And guys, check out the Amazon storefront. There's a lot of cool merchandise like this hat that I have on. We have cups. I have other things I want to show, but as far as I can't reach for it because I'm in the car. If I was on the other side, I would show you. But we have cups, hats, sweaters. We have a whole wide of uh, things inside of the store. So check that out. Even in the beginning of these videos, there's new links that you can just press on that's inside the video that would take you to the shops for you to purchase anything. Also, we have a gift list on our Amazon storefront. If you want to send us anything or like, that you think that we can use, you can use that gift wish list. You don't have to use anything off the wish list. You can choose anything that you want if you want us to show it on the channel. And we will greatly appreciate that. There's also a thanks button down below. If you want to thank us in any way, you can hit that thanks button. And I know when I'm riding around in an SUV, I don't show the family too much, but that's going to change pretty soon because we're going to be in a big, big campground and the kids are going to be off of school. So you guys will be able to see the whole family together again. I know you guys have been asking, what happened to the kids? What happened to the wife? Everybody's okay. Nothing's happened. It's just that the kids are in school. And most of the time I'm doing camping inside of the SUV while they're in school. We still go to the campgrounds, but there's not much to show because they're, they're in school. They get home so late. So that's why I don't get to show you guys so much. But 
my next video if it's not the, the video before uh, after this it'll be the next one you'll see the whole family inside the campground we're going to be going to one of the my best campgrounds in the northeast that i love so much so stay tuned for that and i did choose the thumbnail for the video so if you're watching this video right now and you didn't see the thumbnail just look at my last video I picked the thumbnail in this video so that I can do it uh, featuring this East Oak cooler that's in the back. Remember, the, it's durable. It's roto molded. That means that it's strong. You can bang it around. It, it has so much coating on it that the, it retains ice for up to five days. It's really, really nice. Those water bottles have been in there for a couple of days and those didn't melt. The ice somewhat milled because I don't have that much ice to put in. I, I, I'm not going to buy ice. So I, I didn't have a lot of ice, but the water bottles, the, the ice frozen water bottles, I have a lot of those. So check that out. That worked out tremendously. And guys, that's all I got. I don't want to keep babbling on because I can talk for hours. So check back in soon. I'm gonna go over my battery system. You guys can't see it right there. Everything is still working perfectly. I love it. Oh, there it is there. I had the, uh, the camera angle somewhere else. The TV works, the video game works. I'm gonna showcase that more. I'm gonna start cooking more. I'm gonna share some recipes, but I don't know if you're gonna to wanna to try my recipes and my recipes are not that good. So that's all I got for you today. See you guys later. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Bye guys.